like a hot mess right now. I'm so sorry. I just woke up, clearly. Um, but hello everyone. Welcome back or welcome to my channel if you guys are new. My name is Amanda and welcome to Vlogmas Day 1. Um, yeah, so I look like a hot mess. Actually, I'm going to light this candle really quick. I love lighting this little candle anytime that I'm going to take a shower. Or just like when I'm gonna be in, you know, chilling in here for a little while. But yeah, so I have a lot to do today. Um, I do have a full shift at work today, so that will be fun. <laughs> um, I've never done a full shift there yet because um, I'm not just part time, but I need the money, so I'm not really complaining. But I need to go ahead and take a body shower first. Um, I don't need to wash my hair just because I washed it the other day. And at work, I have to wear my hair up anyways. So it doesn't really matter that much because it's not even dirty. Um, and then I have to do a couple emails and try and do some stuff before I go into work. Um, and then later on, I'm actually going to show you guys uh, a MacBook unboxing. I actually filmed this like quite a while, <laughs> no, I'm not going to lie. Um, but my boyfriend actually got the new MacBook Pro with the M1 chip. And I did like a little, like some clips of like comparing like my MacBook Pro because I have the 2019 one to his MacBook Pro and he got the 2021 M1 chip MacBook Pro. Um, so I did a little unboxing of that. So I'm going to show that to you guys a little later. Actually, it's actually really different. Um, they brought back a lot of uh, different features and stuff and they got rid of the touch bar, which is really interesting because I actually don't mind my touch bar at all. But I know that other people have had like issues with their touch bars before, so maybe that's why they got rid of it. I don't really know. So let me go ahead and take a shower um, and then I will need to start doing all the rest of my stuff that I Okay, my shower is done. I'm just gonna do skincare really quick. I moved my um, skincare fridge to my bathroom finally. Oh yeah, I don't think I even like updated you guys on how I changed my room. I changed my room around and then I put like a big um, a clothing rack, <laughs> a clothing rack in there. And then I put all of my, I can't, I can't freaking talk right now, I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm gonna brush my teeth first too. Um, I put all of my like sweaters and stuff on there because I literally just had them like sitting in a box in the other room um, and my mom didn't really like that. And I was like, well, the weather here is so unpredictable so I never know when I'm actually going to need like these sweaters. Hence why I left some of them at Sunny's house up there because I know I'll need them up there. So then, I mean, I got that clothing rack like a while ago because I was going to put it up in my room to begin with when I moved back. But I didn't because my mom had other plans for my room. So, which obviously didn't work because I ended up putting it in there anyways. And then that way, like, I don't have to go to storage, like the storage unit every single time that, like, I want to get my sweaters and stuff, you know, because there's no room in the garage either to put anything because we have to clean the garage in order to put my car back in there. And yeah, it's just basically a whole mess, but I'm going to brush my teeth really quick. So I'm going to start with my Prima Enlightenment Serum. This one has the CBD and the hemp in it. So it does kind of s have a, like a distinct smell to it. <laughs> Not going to lie, but I have had no issues uh, with it so far. It works pretty well on my skin. I have other um, like serums and stuff that I want to try that I finally found when I dug out, uh, dug them out of like my bin full of like samples and other stuff. So I just want to finish this one first before I try any other ones. And then obviously going in with my Clinique Moisture Surge moisturizer. As you guys saw, I already did like the face roll for a little bit. I don't know if I ever do that thing right, but it feels good on my skin, so I don't really care. <laughs> I'll probably have to start watching like how to use it so um, it actually <laughs> does something for my skin, but it feels really nice because it's always like in the fridge, so it's always like really nice and cold um, when I start using it. So, okay. and yeah, that's literally all I do uh, right now. Um, if I knew that I was going to be going out in the sun, um, that I would put sunscreen on, but I'm going to be indoors pretty much all day, so it doesn't really make sense for me to put sunscreen on right now. Plus, I'm pretty sure that I left my sun bum sunscreen in my sister's car, and she's 
back up in Portland. So yeah, that, that won't work. <laughs> okay, I need to call my doctor's office because they called me Monday or something, but I need to call them back because I need to deal with them. Filming on my phone, in case you can tell, but I just picked up some breakfast. So my typical sausage and cheddar sandwich, and then I got a caramel brulee latte. So I'm going to just chill in my car for a little bit until I start work and probably watch someone's vlogmas. I'm not 100% sure, but cheers. Okay, I'm vlogging on my phone again because I didn't bring my camera. I was charging at home, but I'm on my lunch break now. I got this nice yummy turkey sandwich from Sprouts. I got it with cheddar <clears throat> and avocado and tomatoes and lettuce. Also had to get some kombucha to drink too. So this one is the pink lady apple one. It's actually pretty good and work is actually going by really really fast because it's been pretty busy like almost all day and I always have something to do if like there aren't any customers which is nice. So yeah I'm just gonna finish um eating my lunch. Just chill for the rest of my um break until i have to go back all right guys so i just got home from work and i'm gonna go ahead and show you all of the clips that i took of the macbook pro unboxing and comparing it to my macbook pro i'm gonna go ahead and open it up now you need your jacket on It's um, a lot heavier than I expected it to be. And then here's just a little info card that it always comes with. This is the new charger that it came with. It is um, a little bit smaller than what it normally is. So you can see it's like the size of my hand and it's not that much smaller than my iPhone XR. And then this is the charger and what's new about this is that it's actually kind of a braided material. And then it just says MacBook Pro on the back. It's really big. I don't know why he got such a big one. And then as you can see it has uh, more ports and a different charger than mine. And you can already tell that it looks completely different just based off the keyboard alone. And then that's where the touch ID has, so it still has a touch ID, which is nice, not, but it does not have the touch bar anymore. So let's go ahead and compare it to my MacBook Pro 2019. I think mine is a 13 inch, whereas his, he's, I'm pretty sure he got the 15 inch one. And you can already see like a huge difference um, in just the keyboard alone. And the screen is definitely bigger on his than mine. And there's actually, the webcam is a little bit different. There's more space. has an SD card slot and a USB-C slot. And then it has a magnetic charger and then two more USB-C slots and a headphone jack. Whereas mine only has two USB-C slots and one headphone jack. You can tell that it's a lot thicker than mine is too. Um, I'm not sure why. All right, and that is it for today's vlog. I know it was a really short one, but um, I did have work all day today, so. But yeah, happy Vlogmas day one, and I will see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas day two. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock.